Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the ChatGPT for Gmail extension. Uh, this will work for Chrome and should work for Edge too. So once you go to the page, simply click on the Add to Chrome uh, button for Chrome, that is, and just follow the prompts. You know, shouldn't be too many, if any. And then once you're done, you'll have it in your Gmail. So we have this email uh, sample here about a project meeting coming up. So I'll open it here. So you might want to pause the video and just kind of read the email, see what it's about, so you'll know, you know, so you can compare it to how it uh, replies. So once you do that, we'll continue. So you'll notice that we have a little chat GPT here and then one down here. So you're going to have to make an account, free account uh, for this chat GPT, which will actually prompt you the first time you use it. And if you're not signed in, you'll have to sign in. And so once you have it here, um, you can click on it. Then we have some kind of generic um, responses here. Like let's say, let's request more information. And you'll see that it request information actually puts in details about the uh, email that it read like so and if you don't like it you click it again but this time it's going to want you to uh, specify how you want it to reply and you can actually s show suggestions here but if you don't want to do that and you want to get that at first menu you'll have to you know discard your draft go back out and reply again and then you'll have this uh these pop-up buttons again here, and then you can do something different, you know, like agree. Something simple like that. So let's try another one here. So like I said, you have these suggestions here. Tell her that I'll check out the attachment and get back to her. Generate reply. And if that's too generic, you could do something like a Okay, tell Cindy that I will be at the meeting with my presentation ready to go. Thank you for setting things up and tell her I will read over the attachment. So generate reply. All right, so here's the reply generated based on what I told it to say. So it did a pretty good job. So one thing you'll notice though, if you keep on changing your mind and generating new replies, it's gonna stack them on top of each other. So make sure you delete the first one before you uh, add the uh, new one to it. Otherwise you're gonna be sending a bunch of different replies in one email. So overall it does a pretty good job. So you know, it comes in handy if you wanna just quickly generate replies to emails, but I would obviously proofread the replies before you send them off just in case it you know, doesn't get it right. So I'll put a link in the description where you could uh, install this. And then you can try it out for yourself. And then if you don't like it, just click on remove and it'll be gone. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.